Our Ideascape videos are made to help parents alter the new landscape of home instruction, virtual learning, and social distancing due to COVID-19. Ideascape 101.2 is all about thinking. Due to the uniqueness of all students, parent discretion should be exercised in selecting the most appropriate suggestions in this video to fit the student. Puzzles, they're an intriguing way to spend time. Manual jigsaw puzzles can help your child develop strong motor and coordination skills while also increasing their processing speed over time. This means it can help with math and cognition. One place to complete jigsaw puzzles online is at jigsawplanet.com. No endorsement here. In the classroom and with my own family, I encourage the use of this online tool to pique interest in my students while also helping them to develop problem solving skills. Because almost everything a child does or a teen teaches them, whether audio, visual, or mechanical, puzzles are always a good use of time for learning. Remember in Ideascape 101.1, reading was mentioned as a way to inspire your child when virtual lessons end at the end of the day? Well, in addition to increasing their reading ability, students can improve their diction and letter sound recognition when they read aloud. In English, A, B, Cs do not always make the same sounds consistently. Therefore, reading can be tricky. Here's a recommendation for a reading game or maybe a reading competition in your household. First, read a chapter or a few pages of a book to your child, no matter the age. Then close the book. Second, ask them to retell their favorite parts of the story, recount the acts of a character, or even predict what will happen next. Third, take turns writing a question about the story or a character on note cards, and then put it in a storage box or a storage bag. If your child is too young to write, ask them to tell you a question and write it for them or even with them to help them learn writing. Read the book every few days until it's finished. If your child can read, think about letting them read aloud the second night. You decide, but it's great practice. Check to see if their predictions from the first night were correct. Discuss how this story would be different if it had a different ending. And last, Hold a trivia night by making your favorite family snack or meal. Take turns answering the hidden questions from that storage bag or storage box mm -hmm, and apply your own point system to rate the winner. Be sure to have an age appropriate incentive prize ready. Cultivate a little time and rewards will come. Thanks for viewing this video. Watch for the next Ideascape 101.3 and subscribe to our channel below.